Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tom Ray's Art Podcast. I'm Tom. On today's show, I get to do something that is one of the reasons that I started a podcast in the first place. I started the podcast because I wanted to meet people. I wanted to meet other creators. I wanted to meet other artists. But the thing is, too, is there are some of them that I would like to meet, but you can't just reach out and go, hey, do you want to talk? But you can reach out and go, hey, do you want to do an interview on a podcast? And that's what I did. There's a person who is a videographer that does something right up my alley, which is they do kind of a pop culture sort of thing, a retro thing, Saturday morning cartoon recreation days, like days of Saturday mornings, commercials and uh, the ad spots and the cartoons, like the full experience of what it was like to watch cartoons in the 80s or the 70s or the 90s. And it just takes one of those days. And he also does his own projects as like a cooking show, but with puppets. It's just all very entertaining. Like it's unique. It's not your normal show. It's He does another one where it's called The Cereal Man and he tries different cereals from the past and present and just kind of talks about it. Like it's entertaining as all get out. And this person uh, is based in Milwaukee. I did not know until we started talking. I'm like, wait, you're only like an hour and a half away from me? Anyway, you know what? All this is covered in the episode. It's fun. He's a very nice person, and I'm extremely happy that I got to meet him. So here's the interview starting right now. My name is Damone Harris, and Moan Media. <laughs> Moan Media. <laughs> uh, I am a videographer, a freelance editor, videographer. And that's what I do. Yeah. And that's my passion. And, and you do it a lot. <laughs> you do a lot of stuff. Now, yeah. some background. First of all, you're located in Milwaukee. I did not know that until I contacted you. I'm like, wait, you're just like right over. I'm in Madison. You're in Milwaukee. Right, right, you know, right. Like, I, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. Like, what are the odds? Now, the background yeah. being, I know you because I discovered your show, one of your shows, Two years ago, you have a you have a YouTube channel, and mm -hmm. there was so. What happened to me was I was I got suggested. I'm a big Mystery Science Theater three thousand fan, and okay. I saw somebody had posted that they had an original broadcast v VHS tape that they had like commercials and all, and I was watching mm -hmm. it, and I'm like, oh, that's super cool, and I'm like, I wonder if anybody ever did that with cartoons. So I did a mm -hmm. search. And I found you because you remix cartoons and not only remix them, but you put in the commercials and the ad spots and <laughs> all that stuff. The bumpers, so, all that good stuff. Yeah. So I want to geek out on that first because that's how I found you. I watch you every day. I watch those things you do every day and like pick up where I left off the day before. So you do these mm -hmm. Saturday morning things. How did you get started doing that? Uh, Saturday mornings. It was this guy. On here named Darren on YouTube. Okay. His name was Darren. And uh I guess he used to buy VHS tapes and stuff and he would show it uh on YouTube. So yeah. you know, one day I, he he had like a five minute video of Saturday morning cartoons uh -huh. with the commercial bumpers, everything. So I saw that and I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> you know, it, it just took me you know, some euphoria just it just hit me. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh and I'm asking him, like, can you do more? Can you show more? And he was like, nah, you know, I just buy the VCR tapes or whatever and I just post whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I look at it, his template. I looked at the template on how the cartoons went. And yeah. I'm like, you know what? I can do this myself. And that's what started started me doing the Okay. Uh, editing of the Saturday morning cartoon. Plus, you know, I'm an 80s baby. Yeah. And, you know, I was indulged in that. So, well, and that's, that's the other thing too. That's why I like yours because there are other people that do this stuff and they'll do stuff in between and go, now I'm going to play this show and they'll be like, oh, I just started watching this or whatever. Yours are like, 
like you remember you and you also have a companion show called the Saturday morning experience where you actually go through and go like, here's what I would have done during this day, right, probably. Right, right, and you right, go through right. and, <laughs> and that's what I really <laughs> like about yours. Like I, I, I can tell that you're really passionate about it, that you really enjoy it and the, the whole positivity and the nostalgia of, of the whole thing. So, and you, you're saying you found this, this tape and you're like, I can do this template. Now your background, I think uh, you went to school for videography, right? Yes. Yes. For uh, videography, e-production. So I was working at PBS studio in Milwaukee. Oh, you were? And yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. So, so, you know, we had to, as students, we had to work the cameras and, you know, and they had the whole tapes of, Mr. Rogers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they had stuff from 80, 81, 79, you know, but we couldn't get to it. But we got to see the archive of that, too, uh -huh. which was kind of cool. But, oh. yeah, that's my that's yeah, I was at MA Milwaukee Area Technical College. So, OK, when now, when did yeah. you uh, graduate from there? I graduated two years ago from there. OK, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, the, right, right. You know, no, the, I know the dates that, get that, weird that, because that of that one shutdown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The pandemic just, you know, made everybody loco. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, 2020. 2020. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So right, right during right before the, the pandemic hit full blown. OK. All right. I, I graduated. Yeah. Now, yeah, when you were yeah. going to that, what was your like? What, how would you describe your style? I mean, I, I know you from the nostalgic style, but you uh, you also kind of branch on that into other things that you do. Um, mm -hmm. Even some of the styles of the way that you edit and the things that you use. And it, so what would you how would you describe the style that you have as as a videographer? Oh, that's a. That's I mean, a good personal question. style. I understand uh, uh, there's uh, a professional yeah. style, and right, everybody's, right, of course, right, like, right, I can right. do this. I'm saying if you got to make something, like, what would you say your style would be of your own? Uh, I like, as far as my videography, I, I would like the, a, a, a piece of Colbrick, Stanley Colbrick. Okay. With a dash. Yeah, with a little dash of, uh, um, uh, what's the guy from Evil Dead? Oh, Evil Dead. Um, great. Now I can't think of it because you asked me. <laughs> but I know what you yeah, mean. But, yes. But, the guy but, from but Evil the Dead. the director from Evil Dead. Yeah, Sam yeah. Raimi? Those, Sam Raimi. There yeah, we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's a classic to me. His first one, the first Evil Dead. And that's what really, really, really inspired me to make movies besides, you know, the 80s. You yeah, know, yeah. Cartoons and stuff. Uh, but yeah, Sam Raimi and a dash of... Uh, uh, Cobrick and yeah, I kind of, and my own little touch to it. So I try to okay. blend the soup, soup all together, <laughs> make sure the soup tastes good. <laughs> yeah. So when did you yeah. get started, uh, as, um, someone making video or movies? Like how, how would you say uh, you first began? I actually think when I was, when I was a kid, well, my, you know, I had asthma real bad as a child. So mom, I couldn't go outside and play with my friends a lot because, okay. you know, my, you know, because my asthma, but mine's would buy me toys and stuff. So I would play with those toys and I would just, I don't know, I'd make movies, you know, okay. we had HBO back in the day, early, uh -huh. early HBO. And yeah, I just used to try to mimic TV shows and just try to have my episodes with my toys. And yeah, and it just started from there. And that's when I knew any oh, of I those be a director. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, no, I couldn't couldn't afford the video video. Uh, OK, you know, the camera so you were just kind of plotting and uh, plotting out the scenes. OK, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Strictly imagination. And I'll just be in my room playing for like eight hours. You know, I'll just be in the zone just okay. playing my toys and just directing everything. And it just never stopped, you know. All right. So, when did you get your first camera? Uh, 2000, uh, early 2000, like 2009, little cheap $40 camera. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I went to art schools. I went to Market High School to Arts. I went to Roosevelt Middle School to Arts. So I was already, you know, I can draw mm -hmm. and I can play the trombone music and stuff. So I'm, nice. I'm just an artist, you know? So yeah, yeah I just... With this movie and biography editing, this it makes all my 
my my talents just come together. Yeah. And and boom, you know. So right. Yeah, it's it's, it's a good thing, man. Okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I meant to mention earlier when we finally realized that the name of the person was Sam Raimi. Um, I just remembered uh, you got a shout out from a particular Sam on one of your shows the, uh, uh, not too long ago. Wasn't it? Was uh, who was it? Sam. Uh, uh, Sam Rockwell. Yeah, Sam Rockwell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam Rockwell. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he he, he gave me a holler. Yeah, you know, I appreciate that. Sent me an email. Yeah. And. That was kind of inspiring. Yeah. You know, you know so so uh, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad people are watching my channel. <laughs> <laughs> no. And didn't see that, so. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, what yeah, made yeah, you yeah, decide yeah. to start a YouTube channel? I mean, it, you know, we all want to do it when we, right, when right, we right, create right, things. Right, but, like, right. when you created yours, like, what was your goal when you first started the YouTube channel? And it's evolved into much more since then. Right, right. My first goal was just to show my movie shorts and okay. my movies. You know, that was my first. And uh, and then after that, as the time started evolving, you know, it's, I was like, oh, OK. And, and as I start mastering my craft and everything, I just use YouTube as my kind of like practice, you know. Oh, practice yeah. My skills practice, keep my editing skills and everything. And then I just, you know, post it on YouTube and then YouTube started evolving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then next thing you know, you know. You got to go, you know, you got to go with the program. So, yeah. Yeah. And there's no that. reason not to put what you're trying out on there because you never know what's going to exactly. hit. It's like you could keep it to yourself. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And also, so. you do stuff with puppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How did that I, come I about? Know. Tell me about the puppets. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you know, you know, 80s baby. So I like to say we, we were, you know, watching Sesame Street and, mm -hmm. you know, they had a lot of puppets. And stuff, Pee Wee Herman Playhouse. So, uh, you know, I like to cook, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to. It, it go way back, man. To, yeah, to just just personal stuff, real personal stuff with my friends and stuff. I used to have to cook for them because they didn't have. <laughs> it was just a lot of <laughs> lot of bad stuff going on. But my brother called me Crow. I was going to ask you where that name Crow. came from. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, because I used to. I used to uh, I used to have three three crows in the morning used to come by my house every morning and I used to give them Doritos. <laughs> I <throw> them Doritos. <laughs> They'll come down, eat it, whatever. Then my brother, he was like, oh, he, he just started saying, crow, what's up, crow? You going to cook something to eat? And, and then, I was like, yeah, Chef Crow. Let's just call it Crow. But yeah, yeah, oh, it's kind of funny. I, it, yeah. And you do the voices for those, right? Yeah, everything, man. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I know you've had, you have a couple of videos that have a guest star in them, but for the most part, I was like, it's mainly you. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah mainly me. All right. And uh, what really started me when I used to watch Sesame Street and they had the small little segments mm. of the food, you know, the food segments when they show, you know, they making enchiladas or they making yeah. uh, soup or, you know, Sesame Street's had them little segments. And that really just inspired me, man, because I always wanted to make a little little segments like they used to do. Mm -hmm. you know? So, and that's what Chef Crow. I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm just gonna add puppets and do my cooking and try to make it kind of fun or whatever. But how yeah. do you now? Most people wouldn't go, and then I'll add puppets. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, right, right. You had to think up the personality for him. You had the crow noise, which I'm sure is something like that's probably just what you did. And then you were like, I'll do that with the crow because, first of all, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. and then you also have the chef puppet. Um, and then, uh, yeah, like, how did you how did you plan out the personality and how you were going to do this? Like, it's it's one thing to go. Here's how to cook things and doing a tutorial. Yours is right. more like it's like a bit. It's like a segment. You know, it's it. Mm -hmm. it so mm -hmm. how did you map all that out when you were doing it? Uh, as far as with the personalities of the, of the, of the puppets, I use like some of my personalities. Uh huh. I don't have multiple personality disorders, <laughs> <or. laughs> but I use like with the crow being annoying. You know, he's really annoying. He right. really, you know, always always mess around, joking around. So I put that personality trait in him, and then uh, Chef Yams, I just made him serious. You know, mm -hmm. and and 
the cat, he don't really say nothing. He just he, right. he real mysterious, you know, you know. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, and, that, and that's the, that's it. Okay, and uh, now how do uh, first? Let's start with when you're filming segments, when you're doing stuff uh, with camera, like say the the crow show or your um, your serial guy show. Um, okay. where you, which by the way, I, I love that. It's literally just you <laughs> testing out cereal and, uh, the most recent one, or one of the most recent ones with the, uh, shredded wheat. I never got shredded wheat. That was a big old biscuit that comes out. Of it. Yeah. You break out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. No, oh, I, I enjoy good. that immensely. It's, and I love the fact mm-hmm. that your, your internal thought is going on while it's happening. Uh, that's fun. I enjoy right. that. Anyway, so when you're filming this stuff with a camera, how do you map it out? Like, are you storyboarding, scripting, or are you just kind of winging it and then you fix it in editing? Like, what's your process when you're doing a camera part? Uh, as far as like serial man, yeah, I just, I just, I don't storyboard anything. I just go right at it. You know, I just set up and just do it. And then when it, when the editing comes, then I, you know, I can cut it and make it, make it clean, clean it up. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, most of my work is not storyboard unless I'm doing video, sh- unless I'm doing movie shorts or, or movies, you know, them the only ones that be storyboard, but the rest of the stuff, the set of more experience, uh, all that stuff is basically just free, free, freestyle. Okay. Basically. Do you, and then I just. Well, do you do it consecutively? Do you know that you're going to be doing it in order or do you just go, all right, I'm set up for this segment. I'm going to shoot all the things for this. Yeah, I have it in my, I have it in my head. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I worry because that's I'm the way I do stuff too. And I'm like, there's, yeah. I wonder if there's a better way that I should be doing this. <laughs> so I wanted to ask yeah, a guy yeah. who went to school for it. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So technically, yeah, but you're supposed to write it down, have the storyboard. So you have a, precise direction of what you're going to with the shoot but Mm -hmm. me i always got stuff just running around my brain so i just i don't have time for that let me just you know i already know my vision so okay i don't want to just sit down and storyboard it out or whatever you know yeah so i just i just go right at it yeah all right but technically you're supposed to storyboard (laughs) write it down storyboard and then follow the whole thing do as i say not as i do (laughs) right 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 (laughs) um and what what kind of uh what kind of equipment are you using for uh when you film uh i use dslr okay i use can canon dslr uh yeah that's the that's and you know i use gambles and and just various types of tripods but that's it dslr Canon. Yeah. And you've got, yeah. uh, you do a lot of green screen, especially for the Saturday yeah. morning stuff, which we yeah. were talking as you were setting up. And for people yeah. that can't see the video, you were surrounded in green screen. Right. You, right, you right. got a whole room that's all set up for green screen. Um, right. 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 Yeah. I've yeah. always wanted to set that up, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 I hear you. Yeah. That green screen opens doors, man. It just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, because I always, with that green screen, uh, you know, what always stuck with me was the uh, Land of the Lost and that that <laughs> yeah. that damn Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, and I'm like, oh, how they do that? And uh, I want to learn how you do that. But once I once I uh, learned the art in school, uh, then I'm like, okay, I'm I'm a I'm gonna do it, and now I can't stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because you can just. You can go anywhere with it. You know, green screen, you can take you. You want to be on Mars? You can go be mm-hmm. on Mars <laughs> or whatever. So, yeah. yeah. Or in Pee Wee's Playhouse, which yeah, is I your backdrop, your go to a lot of the right, time. Right, 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 right. Exactly. exactly now, so. what are you using as a video editor? Uh, I use Power Director. Okay. All yeah, right. Power Director. So it's, it's pretty easy, but, uh, uh, you know, if, uh, if it's easy to learn. Mm-hmm. But I, I use uh, Premiere, uh, Avid. Okay. Avid is real hard. That's what we had to learn in school. But yeah. PBS, they, yeah, they didn't allow any other editors, so you had to use Avid. Uh, and um, I wonder if that's just because that's all the teacher knew. Right. That's, 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 <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah, I think they just used that for the main broadcast and all that stuff, and that been Avid been around forever, so... 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they use movies for Avid and right. stuff. They, like the, yeah, I mean, so. no, I, I said right like I'm going, of course they do. No, I have no idea. What am I? Yeah, I'm just yeah, agreeing yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, uh, and there's one more editor. Uh, it can't, I, I don't know where, I can't really think of it. No, that's fine. Now, but, but, but they're basically all the same. You just got to know the tools. Uh, where to go, but they are the same. The okay. Editors. But I prefer Power Director. On average, how Easy. long would you say it takes you to make one of your your movie shorts or your segments? Uh, uh, it depends on what what project. Like, let's say with the cooking show first of all, because I'm curious about how long uh, yeah, shooting yeah. multiple uh, things like that. I'm wondering. Right, how long right, that right, takes. right. So, so what I do if I'm like making some soup, uh-huh. I'll, I'll I'll just shoot shoot me cooking the soup and then i come up in my my room my green screen room and then i do the puppet green screen stuff and yeah yeah it's a process so <laughs> right um that take about yeah roughly about a day about okay. a day yeah yeah for the crow show to shoot everything and then the editing process, I'm a real fast editor. I'm real quick. I'm real, uh, I think I'm real, really, 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 really good. I'm trying to just really be just the best damn editor out, out there. Yeah. So, but, um, yeah, it took me about a, about a couple of hours, it, about, about four hours. For editing? For, yeah. For the show, the crow show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday morning cartoons that will take me. If I have everything together, if I have all my commercials and all that stuff together, it doesn't take me no time, man. Two hours. How do you really? I did not yeah. expect that as an answer. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. how yeah. do you have? How do you collect what you're going to use, and like, what's the process for getting that? So you're transferring it into one long, like three hour video. Right, and adding right, the commercials right, right. and segments and everything. Now, right, right, right. the background on this and why I want to ask is, so all I did, and this is how we connected. I had created a new channel separate from this one where I'm doing uh, the stuff where I go and all the stuff that I collect and sell online, the pop culture toys and games right, from right, the right. 90s through the 50s. And I have a separate channel for that. And I just wanted to create a playlist that was kind of like with yours, but like, you know, just the intros. I, I, I couldn't do the cartoons and all that. And it's just a playlist. So it's other people's stuff and just arranged. And I'm like, right. Hey, this is a shout out to Moan Media. And you saw right. that. Yeah. I put that together and even just taking stuff that already existed and searching for it and putting it in a playlist. I was just like, Oh my God. I'm, I, I stopped about halfway through and I'm like, this is enough. This <laughs> so you're saying, yeah, you know, yeah. you uh, it takes you two hours to edit it. And how are you finding this stuff? Because your stuff, your stuff digs deep. You're not just like, oh, and then I'll put in this commercial several times. And this, right, right, no, right, no, right. your commercials are out there. Yours are yeah. deep cuts. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. tell I, me I about to, how you find that stuff. Yeah, I, I try to, I'm trying to make it close as to what we watch as kids and I, I, everything. I'm just trying to make it just as close as possible. Yeah. And I got, uh, I have, I do have one v- VHS tape that do have a Saturday morning on there. Hmm. So then I, I just watched the whole thing and saw how they put the cartoons in and all that stuff. So I follow that template and then boom, you know, once you get the template, you know, it's, it's, it's a wrap. But to answer your question, um, what I do, I have several several platforms that I go on, uh, archive.org. I have, uh, it's oh. a site, yeah, it's a site called um, Anime Dub, and they just have all the cartoons. Really? And, uh, yeah, and then if I can't find nothing on YouTube, yeah, those are like my, my, main, my main two, uh, archive.org and Anime Dub. Thing and then besides my DVDs, I got you know some of the DVDs I got and some of the archive cartoons that I got on VHS that I brought. Okay, I was wondering so, if you were doing that too. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, then I put you know that's all in a pot. So I gotta okay look for my commercials. Now I, I really go to a commercial vault, eighties eighties vault. What's that dude name? Eighties vault or whatever. Yeah, and he just. 
post commercials. Just all 80s commercials. So I type in a year, get the year to make sure everything is cool. And, you know, because I want my thing very specific. I don't want to put a commercial from 88 in a lineup from 84, you know. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I go to 80s bought and then I just, yeah, search out my commercials, bumpers, whatever, search that all out. And then I put that in a folder. And then, yeah. Yeah, so it's rigorous, man. I <laughs> yeah. try to find all that good stuff. Yeah. You must just yeah. have tons of external drives and stuff. Like, where are you storing all this? <laughs> actually, I, actually <laughs> you know, I had some computer problems where, where it shut down my computer. Uh -oh. I had too much. Yeah, so I had to get a new computer. But uh, I usually, after I after I complete, I just erase all, I, I erase all, all my stuff. Really? And even yeah, after, yeah. like, when you have the DVDs, you have to render those and everything. You have to render them right, as right, files. Right, right, Wow. Right, 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 right. So it's a, it's a, it's a process, man. It's yeah. A process. Well, I suppose you're yeah. not going to reuse it after you've already created a video. I, that's one thing I got to get right. used to. I have so many, right. I, I had to clean up some space the other day and I, I got like videos I edited from like two years ago that I haven't thrown away. And it's like, what am I keeping this for? I've already exported it. It's up on YouTube. Right. I'm not going to go right. back and redo right. it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and, and I had to learn that, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not using this no more. So, mm -hmm. you know, oh, off, <laughs> off to the recycle bin. <laughs> now going yeah. back to you finding the commercials i uh one of the things i love about watching so i'll watch your stuff while i'm uh actually listing stuff online listing some toys online and i'll go out and okay. find the stuff okay. and I'll, there have been things where i'm like i'll see a commercial and i'll be like wait a minute and one thing for example I, off the top of my head one thing for example is this thing here called uh uh, Professor Hoyle's movie tri trivia game series, and it's from okay. like 1981. And I'm awesome. I'm like I don't even know what this is. And then right. one day you had a commercial that was like a local broadcast, or, or it was mm -hmm. it was a local one where it had the local branding, but it was like a distributed broadcast, and it was for Showbiz Pizza Place, and they were trying to do okay. a live character guy named Professor Hoyle, and this was the game you would win if you bought a certain package. Oh, and I was like, that's the, okay. that's the okay. thing that I found. <laughs> so it's just like old movie okay. trivia, and you have one of, I, I don't remember which episode it's on, but there are several toys that I have here, things that are like Burger King toys where they'll be in there, and I'm like, oh, that's from Burger King. I have five uh -huh. of those, and I didn't know what it was from. You know, Oh, okay. So okay. that's gotcha. the deep cut gotcha. thing. Whereas gotcha. everybody yeah. else is like, you know, oh, let's show a, you know, let, let's show a pound puppies commercial, which, you know, right, you right, know everybody right, remembers right. that, but whatever. Anyway, I forget what my question was. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm being a fanboy. <laughs> I, <say, laughs> I really do. Why? I mean, I watched today. I was watching one of yeah. your 1970s ones. And yeah. in the beginning, also, how do you start off? You have like the newspaper lineup as the intro card to the beginning yeah, thing yeah. while you play the, the C3PO cartoon. Theme right, song. right. 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 How do you right. find those? How do you find those intro cards? Uh, Google. I just, okay. Uh, I Google card. <laughs> yeah. Google cartoon. Could have answered my own question. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd search and see, yeah, the comic ads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when did so, you first start? Uh, Cause you've got a lot of followers and a lot of subscribers and a lot of watchers. When did you first mm -hmm. start noticing a jump? When did you, when, like, how, is it one of those things where one day you're doing okay and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, wait a minute, tons of people just watched. What happened? Was it like that? Uh, or did it still just happen gradually? Uh, that's a good question. It, it gradually, well, with the Saturday morning cartoons, that was COVID. Yeah. When everybody was in their house. So, uh -huh. and that's how I found it. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, choo, it just would explode after that. So, yeah, during COVID, that's when I, everything just started skyrocketing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, but, but like with some of my stuff, you know, people don't watch, you know, when I first, my early startup YouTube, yeah, it, you know, I, I used to do sh straight movie shorts, you know, amateur. Amateur, just horrible looking. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm passionate, so I'm keep keep doing it till, till I get it right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. During that 2020, that COVID, okay, that's what really right. just skyrocketed my my channel. Okay. And, that, and that's when I really and I graduated too, so from school, so that's when I really was like, okay, I'm going to do this now. Right. And 
you started so, to actually actively yeah, pursue right, it. Yeah, actually start. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. Right, right. How often exactly. uh, would you say, I mean, I know that you put out regularly the videos that you make. Um, mm-hmm. what, what is your usual release schedule? Like, how often are you releasing things? Uh, I actually, I try to do a Saturday morning cartoon every Saturday. I Makes try sense. To do a, a, <laughs> yeah, I try to do a serial man every, like, Monday morning, okay. you know? Uh, and I try to do like at least three videos a week at okay. least, but if I'm tied up, you know, cause I do freelance work. So sometimes I have, you know, I got a lot of other projects I'm doing. So yeah, sometimes like I can't really post like I want to, but I really want to post like seven days a week yeah. and have a show, a show each, you know, Sunday, Chef Crow show, Saturday morning experience on Saturdays. Friday, Friday night videos, Thursdays, you know, I want to do prime time Thursdays and and just certain stuff of my videos. I just want to do it like every day, but I can't right now. Mm-hmm. Not right now. But. I like the Friday night videos. Do you, is that something you do that I don't know about or? Uh, well, you know, you know, the Friday night videos from back in the day. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm it's, saying. Like, it's, I... just, it's just hard. They, they, the copyright cops will oh. come for me. So yeah. Yeah. So I can't really, really post those like I want to because what you know. what uh what what do you do actually I meant to ask you about that so as far as copyright there's background music you use that I'm surprised that you can use there's mm-hmm. uh in the shows that you're posting I'm in a lot mm-hmm. of the commercial well the commercials I guess you wouldn't really get copyright for but right. you know but like a lot of the shows I and did, everything I, I did get copyright though oh. from Rig- Wrigley Spearmint Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's insane. The Wrigley Spearmint, uh, the Juicy Fruit commercial. Make them pass the Juicy Fruit. Right, right. The taste is going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> move, Which one, the, yeah. the surfing one or the skiing one? Yes, the surfing one. Okay. They copyrighted me for that, and I couldn't believe it. And that's the only commercial I got copyrighted for. Huh. All right. I, lo- I love so the fact weird. that we both, th- they only have the two. There's the get your uh, right. surfboard up, and then there's get and, your skis shined up. One, <laughs> right. The, yeah, the one who was flipping in the water with the ski things on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay. Uh, oh, uh, wow. Wow. Woo. Copyright. Uh, yeah, they just, every day, man. Every day. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. How do you- Not a copyright strike, but, right. you know. Yeah, that's because that's dangerous. Like some sometimes it's like you can use this, but you can't monetize it. Is is what right. some people do, um, and you know, is, isn't that something you can do too? Go, um, I'm not going to monetize this video, so then they yeah, don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, okay, I you don't. don't. Have, I don't have anything monetized, which and, is the drawback because you're getting all these subscribers, but you can't right. do nothing about it. But then you can't um, post the content you do. Right, right, right. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. So okay, it's, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. All right, but. Well, and when they do this, um, like, do you do you upload it privately and wait to see after it gets scanned if you get anything, or do you yeah, just post yeah. it? Okay. What right. I do, I upload it, and and yeah, I, I put it, I schedule it, yeah, for like a later later day. Uh-huh. So that would allow enough time to check to check the uh, copyright and all that stuff. It'll give enough time. All right. And once it passed through all that stuff. And then I post it. Okay. You know. And when you get one, do you just cut out the segment in YouTube in their editor or do you actually go and render a brand new one? Yeah, it's just depending. Yeah, because sometimes with the copyright, they have about four, four copyright things that so and YouTube editor just take so long. Yeah, yeah. So (laughs) I just take the whole video down and I just (laughs) cut it out. It's just easier to do it. I'll just do it myself. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Yeah, but that's that's really frustrating. That's okay. the most frustrating part about it, the, the copyrights and stuff. All right, very frustrating. And, and uh, I almost I almost stopped a couple of times. Really? You know, oh, it was just yeah, you had too yeah. much. It, it, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And I, I I was on like two strikes, and yeah, that was to shut my channel down. Okay. Know? But whew, luckily, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. I'm keeping. I'm keeping moving. So the. The other thing too is, so you're doing freelance work and you're doing this YouTube stuff. How are you mm-hmm. promoting either or all of these things? How are you promoting yourself to get the word out there about yourself? Uh, you know, I don't promote, you know, okay. I don't, I don't, I just, uh, 
the different platforms. I'm not on TikTok. I'm not on mm-hmm. uh, Instagram. Well, I am on Instagram, Chef Crow, but I just post little pictures. But I'm not really on. I'm on no, none of them sites, man, because. I see media every 24, 7, <laughs> 365. So I, it, yeah, it just burns me out. So I can't, okay. you know, like Facebook, I can't, I just can't, I just don't go on there no more, man, because it's too much for me. Okay. So I just stay focused on YouTube. Uh, yeah, and that's, so I really don't promote. Okay. Because, mm-hmm. I, I, cause, cause, you know, Tom, I'm right now, I'm just, I'm still trying to master my craft, man. I'm still, All right. I'm still, you know, I still want to get more, 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 more better. Okay. More better, you know. So, uh, and then eventually I'll, I'll, I'll branch out and probably try them other platforms. But as far as in here in the city, you know, I, I you know, you know, I got cards and stuff and, and just talking to people and stuff. And I just let them know it's, it's not like a big for Hey, Hey, you know, <laughs> you know you yeah. Know, so, but, but they know. All right. And what opportunities have you kind of had doing this type of uh, stuff? Uh, as far as I'm right now, well, I did win an award for, uh, well, I was in school. I won an award, the best prestigious award for a student. Uh, I got the Grammy. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got the student uh, Grammy, really? Yeah, yeah. I got oh, nice. the student Grammy. And, uh, but as far as in that, uh, I had a couple of failures, uh, but you got to fail. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been trying to get into the, the film festival. So I did, I did one for 48 hour film festival. Okay. And oh my God, that was, that was the, but, uh, time right now, I haven't, haven't, haven't got a, like a really, 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 really big, big, big opportunity yet. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, not yet, but it's, it's coming because, uh, you know, what was the film I, festival? Is it one of those, uh, like the Whiskino f- film festivals or anything like that? Uh, yeah, the 48 hour is the, where you get just, you got two days, mm-hmm. you get two days to make a short and they give you a topic. You go with a group or whoever and they give you a topic and you got just 48 hours to turn it in. Okay. So, and then, you know, they give you the junior. Okay. We want you to do Western. We want you to do horror or comedy or whatever. So they give us the junior. And what did and you do? You got to go and shoot. What it. was yours? Uh, 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 the the red egg. The what? <laughs> <laughs> I got it on my channel. But it's called the quest. The, the quest for the red egg. Okay, I'm gonna now, have to look it, for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be a, a horror. We had horror and uh, action. Okay. So I just I just threw all the eggs in the basket, man, and just came up with something real quick. Uh, we didn't win. Uh, actually, we almost didn't make the deadline uh, because you, when you work with a group of people, yeah, it's problems. <laughs> Are they it's people problems. that you don't normally work with? Uh, no, there were some former students. Former students. Okay. So, yeah, form, you know, some of our former students, and we got together and we, we we did it. But some of the vision, some of the people didn't show up, and uh. so it was kind of kind of ruined the vision and. Yeah, yeah, but okay. it was learning learning experience. Uh, I did the money tree. Uh, we shot that with phones. That was the first movie. Oh, I never shot a movie movie yet, but that's okay. like the first attempt at a movie uh, that I did. It's a horror movie called the called the money tree. Do you prefer uh, doing horror movies? Yeah, just movies, man. Okay. Just movies. Movies. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I prefer to yeah just shoot shoot movies. So what's the uh, but? Oh, sorry. Like, go ahead. Like, okay, my fault, Tom. I don't know. Uh, I like horror. I like everything. Everything that I like watching: horror, comedy, drama. The horrors are the most fun because you can you can you can get really creative with it, mm-hmm. like with the kills and and you got to figure out okay how I'm gonna pop this this dude's head off and make it look real. You know, that's the fun. Yeah. And, you know, so. And how yeah. do you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's a tip there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just depending. Uh, but it's more with the cut. Yeah. The editing cut. Yeah. If you, you know, real good with that and then have some, 
little mechanism that squirt blood, you you'll be able to pull it off. <laughs> Do you work a lot with props? I guess I didn't even think of asking yeah. that. I mean, not pr not props, but with effects uh, like that. Uh, yeah, real. I never thought of that. If uh, I mean, I've seen you work with props. I've seen you do green screen and do other things. And yeah, of, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. add in your own style of, I love it when you do things that like pop up on the screen. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I guess I didn't think to ask like, uh, yeah, what kind of special effects have you worked with in the uh, past? What are some things you've done? Uh, some props. Uh, you know, I did a lot. If you watch that money tree, yeah, I did a lot of of those natural effects, no computer stuff. It was just okay. natural. Uh, and then, you know, with the green screen, that allows me to do some little CGI, mm -hmm. so to speak, you know, so, uh, and, but besides that, uh, super CGI? No, I never, I don't, I don't, <laughs> you know, you know, I can't, you know, I'm not on that level. <laughs> okay. But, you know, just with the fake blood squirt and all that stuff, I can do all that. Yeah. <laughs> I love that that was a sentence, you know, with fake blood. I, I can squirt now. I can do that. <laughs> um, I am going to have to check that that movie out, though. Um, yeah. Now, you don't have a website. Do you have plans on getting a website anytime soon? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was actually trying to um, create a DVD set. Oh. 70s, 80s, 90s cartoons, just okay. the full thing, you know. So, and then I, that's when I was going to make my website and and kind of post it on there. I don't want to get in trouble, though, you know. But, right, uh, right. But, that's my initial plan. And I wonder, that's a good point. Like, if you were able to create a cart where you were able to sell that, but it was your own cart, like not going through a service, huh? Okay. All right. I'm yeah, trying to yeah, think. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> I know there's um, like you can use Square to do it. And Square actually lets you run a free website, but you have to do it's like a dot square okay. and not square space, the... but like square, the actual cart, like the thing you can right. use to take credit cards with. You can get a free website, but it doesn't have you have to pay to have the name. And then that's just as much as if you were to get a Shopify account. But there okay. is a free okay. way to do it. But yeah, because like otherwise I'd say, yeah, you can just sell it on eBay or something. But it's like, no, maybe you can't. Uh, because right, that, right, I don't know. Right. That's a hard one. Yeah, That's, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I don't uh, think I would want to go. Yeah, I, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. Right, exactly. No, no, no. You're right, right, right. Okay. Right, so. <laughs> But but yeah, that's what that's my that's that's when I was going to set my site up website for that. Okay, you and know. you've you've got a Patreon that you started. Uh, how long ago yeah. did you start that? Uh, I had a Patreon for about two years now. Okay, so you two did years? start yeah, that yeah, yeah, early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started early on. Uh, uh, it's it's growing a little bit, a little bit. Okay, but you know, I be telling people, hey, I got the the full lineup was on there. You know, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, <laughs> but yeah, again, a couple of, all right. If I have, if I, yeah, I'm trying to wish, I wish I had like 2000 Patreons, you know, yeah. that, that, that'd be sweet, but that's the hard I guess that's thing. The goal. Yeah. That's yeah. the difficult thing in, I, and you could probably understand this. It's like, I don't know why I keep like my creative outlets are all things where it's so readily available for everyone. It's not something where it's like, Oh, this is a one-off it's working in video or working in audio. It, it's one of those things where it's like, Oh, I just open it up and play it and move on with my life. It's not like, Oh, mm -hmm. I have to go here to get it. You just do a search and it pops up. And mm -hmm. if people stick around, they learn about you. Otherwise, it's okay. I used it. You got maybe. Well, you don't uh, get maybe a little bit of commission because you can't monetize yours. But <laughs> right, 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 well, right. Exactly. Well, you can monetize your personal shows, though, right? Like your crow show, right, and right, like right, that. right. But but the thing is, they won't let you it's, monetize. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> okay. You, if I don't take them cartoons off, I can't get nothing monetized all right you know they they don't just monetize little pieces of here okay you can monetize that right right yeah, they don't okay it's yeah, one or the yeah, other yeah. all right 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 and uh right. but that does it, it like uh i was watching one of yours the other day and i had that uh what is that song we don't have to take a yeah. you had that running in the background that was in my yeah. head all day thanks to you um <laughs> but that explains yeah. how you were able to have that as your background music while you were talking right 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 yeah yeah so some of those you no know, because like in an experience 
I gotta have some '80s music playing, man. Yeah, so, you know that's that's part of the experience. You know, that's what was popular songs and stuff. So right. some of those don't 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 they don't really, really. I can't get monetized, but. Yeah. So since I can't get monetized, I'm finna just go full full Rambo. Yeah, use what you, you can. <laughs> full Rambo. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh. So uh, what are some things coming up uh, in the future or projects that you're hoping to work on or projects that you're currently okay. working on that you'd like okay. to tell people about? Okay, well, I got, I'm doing a movie for the festival, for film festival. It's a musical really uh yeah yeah it's a musical you know i'm into i love making music yeah uh, i love writing uh and i love writing music so it, it's a it's kind of like an autobiography of what i went through uh when i when i was dating this uh uh bipolar schizophrenic woman okay and you know and she you know she played it off i didn't know i didn't know she was like that but yeah it's basically about that and my relationship what i went through with that wow when so, did this start uh the movie the, the movie the uh well i started writing it last year so i'm almost done with the screenplay because you know writing screenplays is uh, <laughs> interior exterior you know you gotta <laughs> be you right. know so yeah and um right now i'm going to the studio to record my music so once i get done with recording all my musical tracks and I'm done with the script, and then I'm gonna start shooting. So okay. I'm hopefully I can start shooting in July. Okay. Wow. And I have everything together. But yeah, that's what I'm working on. And I'm working on a He Man movie with the toys. You know. Sweet. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and whoo. That that's some hectic. Now that's some hectic shooting. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not like playing with toys, you know. Yeah. You got to get the camera and. So know, is it uh, you, is it like uh, stop motion? It's not even stop motion. Okay. I, I, yeah, I don't even want to stop motion. Yeah. That would take forever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did. So I actually play with them, but I don't show my hands. Okay. You know, so I just keep it. I tried to just make it, you know. So do you remember that show that was on, it was a Nickelodeon show called Kablam where it had a bunch of shorts and it had the action heroes now. And it was actually, it was toy figures, but they would, there was the evil mayor and there was melt face. And uh, uh, then there was a He-Man toy who was just called, uh, what was he called? Just strong man or something like that. Okay. I feel like okay, you know it if you, out. yeah, when yeah, you see it, you'll it. be like, oh, this, you know, but it's, it's oh, kind okay. of the same thing where it wasn't stop motion. Like it would be the figure, but their hand would be just enough off screen. So they'd be going like this. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. And that's exactly how I'm going to do. He, he I man. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's called then, uh, action team. Now this is what you're going to look at. Action up. team. Now action team. Now let me make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited to see that. Uh, when's that one going to come out? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So that He Man's going to. I'm trying to get that done by uh, at least July. You nice. Know, try to finish. I got. I'm halfway there. I'm just halfway, halfway there, man. I'm like in the middle of the story. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if you saw the segment. I don't know if you saw that He Man, but it, it's called He Man. Uh, um, uh, uh, Eternia. I don't even know the name of my movie now. <laughs> the, 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 oh, the fall, the fall of Eternia. Okay, and I, and I, I did a little trailer for it. No, you know, I didn't so. see that. I'll have to check that out. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Check that out. Okay. Uh, or I, I, I'll send you a link. I'll go on your page and I. That's send true. You a link. We so know how to get it, hold of each other now. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 But yeah, the, the, those two, and. Uh, but that's my main one, just the, uh, the my movie okay. for the festival. And then I He-Man for YouTube, He-Man. And, you know, definitely go keep doing the experience. I'm yeah. in the 1980. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to want probably want you in my 1980, mm -hmm. 81. I don't know if you was born yet, but. I was. If you were. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably got to. Yeah, I'm probably good because basically I want his experience to be like a variety show, like a cool, just like a cool variety show, man, where, but I'm still showing the cartoons, but I wanted more, you know, just eighties, man, just breathing eighties. Yeah. You know? 
you know, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I love it. Okay. And I want to, yeah. And also for people who are listening, uh, where can they check out your videos and stuff? Oh no, I'm sorry. Where should they check out your videos? Because where can they, they should check out your videos. So where would that <laughs> right. be at? Uh, just, just go to mall media at mall media, YouTube, there mall you. media. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I want to thank you so much for, there it is. <laughs> Time. <laughs> I, want, media. I want to thank you so much, so much for talking with me today. I'm really happy that I got to meet you. Yeah, uh, no, no, no problem, Tom. I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me, man. <laughs>